Hi, this is Jesse Liberty from Telerik. Today we're going to take a look at getting started with the Rad Expression Editor. Rad Expression Editor allows you to embed an expression editor right into your application that lets your user generate Lambda expressions. To get a sense of what this is like, let's create a new application. To get started, let's create a new project in Visual Studio, and we're going to call that Rad Expression Editor Getting Started. We will say it's a Silverlight 5 application, and when the Telerik Configuration Wizard comes up, we're going to choose Data Visualization and Expressions. As soon as Visual Studio settles down, we're going to go into mainpage.xaml, and in here we're going to say Telerik, and then we're going to add a rad expression editor. We can give that a name, but that's really all it takes to create an expression editor in your application is to simply declare one. Let's run this, and you can see the expression editor comes up directly. There are a number of functions you can call upon. Some of these are aggregation functions for first and last, minimum, maximum, and average. We have date time functions, logical functions, mathematical functions, a host of other functions that make creating Lambda expressions easier. As you double click on these, they are added directly to the expression editor and you can use the buttons to create operators to join expressions together and generate an arbitrary level of complexity in your Lambda expression. I hope you've seen how incredibly easy it is to add an expression editor to your application. In our next video, we will take a look at binding that to a RAD grid view and getting a great deal of power out of that expression editor. For now, this is Jesse Liberty for Telerik. Thank you very much, and I look forward to talking with you again very soon.